wish upon you peace. I wish upon you grace. I wish for less of what you want and more of what you need. I wish upon you an old life with a heart that stays young. Most of all, I wish upon you love. I wish upon you truth. When all you feel is doubt, I hope you know that an open mind still knows when to shut things out. I wish upon you a brave heart. That will always rise above Most of all I wish upon you love and as the sun sets And the moon begins to rise So even in the darkness you find the Find the light. I wish upon you an easy life. I wish upon you hard times. I hope you know that both joy and pain each need their moment to shine. I wish you ears that are quick to listen and that you're slow to use that tongue. Most of all, I wish upon you love. And as the sun sets and the moon begins to rise, so even in the darkness you find the light. You find the light. So that's a really great David Ramirez song that I uh, wanted to play for you. I just learned it, and uh, I, I wish I had someone else to play guitar for me, and uh, I could just sing. <laughs> it's called Find the Light. Um, I'll post the link below if you want to listen to the original. <laughs> Anyway, this is day, uh, is it seven, I think, and day three of meditating, and I also, um, so this is the first week that I started the meditation practice along with the fact that I also am working, so I have a part-time job right now, and I was hoping to be able to get up early enough to get everything done before work, but that didn't happen. And so, um, so I meditated tonight instead and definitely a different experience. My brain's always in a different place than it is in the morning, like at night versus in the morning. Um, and I'm hoping to shift my schedule so that I'm going to bed earlier and waking up earlier. So hopefully that will continue to change and happen. Sorry. Um, but, um, yeah, I keep having these, um, I really enjoy grounding myself 
in the meditation. And I know that the more I practice it, the better I get and the more grounded I'll be getting in those sessions. Um, I think I made it about 45 minutes today ish. Um, before just my brain was kind of all over the place. I mean, it was all over the place in the meditation, but I was always able to bring it back to the breath. And, uh, after about 45 minutes, I decided I was going to stop and sing you that song and, and, um, come and do the video for, for my hundred day challenge. Um, which it's odd because I know that I don't have a lot of subscribers or watchers, but it really does help hold me accountable. It's amazing how much saying something publicly can really, um, hold you accountable. That's probably why gratitude works. Like if you don't have a gratitude practice, I highly recommend it. Um, and I'm saying that as a little bit of a hypocrite right now because I don't have a daily gratitude practice at this moment. I have in the past and it dramatically changed my life. Um, I did this happy no happiness makeover uh, training at one point and I would get up every morning and start the day with today's the happiest day of my life. And um, if anyone out there is a realist and are rolling their eyes right now, that's what I did. I was like, okay, how am I going to do this? And I did. I got up and I said that. And, um, you know, it's kind of a little bit of that, I think, fake it till you make it. Um, but it's also, there's proof and there's research now that shows that you can rewire your brain. And so if you get up every morning, as I was doing and saying, today's the happiest day of my life, even if you're like, today's the happiest day of my life, um, you know, because the, the requirement was to say it out loud and to say it into the mirror. And so sometimes I look in the mirror and be like, today's the happiest day of my life. But <laughs> I, if I had days like that, I would force myself either to, if I could in the moment, say it again. And I apologize for the yawning. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, but also just to... Um, say it again the next day with a little bit more conviction. Kind of like trying to fake myself out. Like, today's the happiest day of your life. And if I was like, oh my god, I totally just said that with like, you know, with just mocking myself or with complete kind of eye roll, then I would ask myself to at least do it one more time and just, even if I didn't believe it, say it con with in a convicted way. Like, today is the happiest day of my life. And it's amazing how much that conviction can change your life. I mean, I guess that's a lot of what I've, the empowerment talks and, um, and things that I've been listening to a lot lately have been teaching me is that, um, it, yeah, it's all about conviction. And I think I may have mentioned this in a previous, previous video, but there was a, there was a study done on, um, what, uh, like, I don't remember what the study exactly was. This is where my brain fails at details, but, um, it was talking about kids that six kids that succeed. And it was talking about how, um, it's kids with the most grit. Like they're just like, screw everything in my life. Screw all the like one downs or the disadvantages or things going against me. I'm going to succeed. And they have the most grit and they're the ones that succeed. And so I think it's kind of tied in with that. It's like the power to push through no matter what. And, um, not create your story around your disadvantage or around your one down or around how things aren't working your way. I think that the more that we talk about our story and talk about ourselves and our lives in a positive, upbeat, we will make it happen way, kind of a kick-ass, badass way, the more likely we are to succeed, the more likely we are to get what we, um want. And I really believe that. And it's been proven by a lot of successful, um, entrepreneurs out there, gurus. Um, I mean, just Google it and you'll, you'll find a million amazing videos on that. Um, so anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you like the song and, um, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm hoping to get up another 10 minutes earlier just, you know, small goals and, um, and maybe get my meditation done in the morning. And if not, well, you'll hear about it. All right. Have a good Monday or whatever day it is for you as you're watching this.